Hello all. Um, so I wanted to do an addendum to the blog I did yesterday because I found the Alzheimer's Association um, 990, Form 990. So it's I couldn't find it on the website directly, but they have a search bar. And if you search for 990, it will send give you a link to this. But uh, it was a little hard to find. That might just be me, but it was a little hard to find. So I have the 2017 990 for Alzheimer's Association. And um, there are new figures for how much uh, people earn. So Harry Johns is still the president. Um, that $2.7 million figure I got, I don't know whether that was dated or whether it changes or whether it included stuff that isn't included in the 990. But on his on the 990, Harry Johns gets paid one point nine million dollars per year this is in 2017 and then another 52,000 from other compensation whatever that is and then another other compensation of 10,000 so he earns just under two million dollars a year which as I've said before I think is disgusting and disgraceful uh, I noticed that he puts that he works 60 hours a week so that's probably worth it. I mean, if he worked 40 hours a week, he'd probably earn, I don't know, 170, 180,000. Those extra 20 hours a week are overtime, triple time. You know, it's going to push you 200,000. It's easy going to push you up to the 2 million mark, right? So he earns that. But then the reason I'm making this little addendum is because of the other people involved. And this, to me, shows the kind of level of corruption and the problem that we have within the charity system because Americans are very generous people extraordinarily generous. I read somewhere, I don't know if this is true, but I read somewhere that uh, Americans give more money to charity than any other nation in the world. Um, and even if it's not true, I know how generous Americans are. We are. We're just a generous people. For all of the issues we face with this country and for all of the shitty, crappy things that we can do as a country, we are very charitable. We believe in giving. Yeah. Uh, at least you do. I don't. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so... Um, Harry Johns, this is the reason. Their COO, CFO, their chief operating officer, Richard Hovland, um, earns 700000 Again, it's a little bit less than that, but it's more with other compensation. It's actually a little bit more. So I'm rounding the figures close enough. 700000 for their CFO. Their assistant secretary and vice president of legal earns 275000 adding it all up. Their chief science officer earns 500000 their chief public policy officer earns 500,000. Their chief development officer earns 500,000. Their chief change management officer earns 400,000. And their West Area leader, whatever that is, earns just under 400,000. That's just disgusting. That I'm sorry, but that is. That's just, there's no way, I'm not sorry. But there's just no way that those kind of figures are in any way appropriate for a charity. To have, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people within the charity to be earning millions of dollars is absolutely outrageous. It's disgraceful. Now this charity pulls in a lot of money. Their, uh, let me quickly scroll up here. But their income was, and it's going up by the way, year by year. Their income uh, the previous year was uh, net assets or fund balances was 267, nearly 268 million. Um, and the current year, uh, 256 million. Um, so yeah, I mean, wait, that's net assets. Hmm. Total revenue, 327 in the prior year, 345 million. These are all just millions I'm throwing out here. Salaries, 160 million in the previous year. God, 173 million in the current year. So it's good to see that they're paying 30 million dollars more in salary in the space of a year. Um, and then other expenses have gone up. So actually, revenue, less expenses. These guys are also apparently losing money. This is interesting. Previous year, they lost 692,000. Current year, they've lost 14 million. It's a scam, man. It's corrupt. I'm sure someone's, uh, no one watches these, but if someone were watching this, they're gonna say, you're an idiot. You don't know anything about these forms. Um, but then I would say, if that's true, and it might well be, if that's true, 
then this organization should be going out of the, its way to have clarity and explain what's going on. Because if the only access I have to what they're doing internally is the Form 990, and the numbers as I read them as a layman looks like, this looks so corrupt, they should address that. I mean, obviously they don't need to because they're earning $300 million a year they're pulling in from you know sponsors and stuff. Not from me, but from a lot of people out there. So anyway, that was it. I just want to do a quick addendum because I couldn't stop thinking about it yesterday because I'm just so disgusted by the whole situation. Alzheimer's is a serious problem. And I'm sure that the money they make helps towards research. And I'm sure that it draws people atten people's attention to it. Although, how much that's needed now, I don't know. I guess it is yearly, right? It's You forget about something. So if you don't constantly remind people this is still a problem, we have a tendency to forget with our short attention spans. Um, but I'm just so disgusted by it. I really am. I'm so disgusted it makes me want to sneeze. But I won't. So there we go. That's uh, alz.org. Um, and just search for 998. I'm not going to give you the, the how to get to it on the website because it's confusing, frankly. Um, so just search for 990 and it will come on alz.org. All right. If you have any thoughts, I would love to hear them. Please, someone talk me out of this very, very negative feeling I have towards charities, and in particular, the Alzheimer's charities. Maybe it's all charities, and I'm only saying that about Alzheimer's because that's the only one that's really affected my life, you know? All right. Peace and love.